everyone, you've probably seen all the classic Fire Stick accessories out there. Maybe you even have one of these upgraded remotes or an ethernet adapter. But my number one accessory, it isn't a remote, it isn't an adapter, it's actually something you probably already own lying around the house. Stick around because this tiny device completely changes how you use your Fire Stick and once you try it, you'll wonder why you didn't do it sooner. Grab your Fire Stick remote and head to the home screen. Navigate all the way over to the right to the settings, that's the gear icon. Then scroll down and select remotes and Bluetooth devices. Now here's the secret. The device we're about to connect is a Bluetooth mouse. Yep, that little gadget you use with a computer works perfectly with a Fire Stick and it opens up a whole new way to navigate apps. Inside the Remotes and Bluetooth Devices menu, you'll see options for your remote and game controllers. What we want is other Bluetooth devices. This is where all your extras live, headphones, keyboards, and of course, the mouse. Next, select other Bluetooth devices, then choose add Bluetooth devices. Now your Fire Stick is searching for nearby Bluetooth devices that are in pairing mode. Next, you need to get your mouse ready. Every Bluetooth mouse is a little different, but most have a small button on the bottom that you have to press and hold for a few seconds to put it into pairing mode. You'll usually see a small light start to blink to let you know it's ready. Keep an eye on your TV screen, and within moments, your mouse should appear in the list of available devices. When it does, select it with your Fire Stick remote to confirm the pairing. And just like that, you're connected. A small mouse cursor will now appear on your screen inside of compatible apps. Go ahead and move it around you'll immediately notice how much easier it is to navigate. Using a mouse can truly elevate your experience with apps like Downloader or Sideloaded applications. It offers precise clicking and selection, making it way easier to navigate. So a quick question for you, do you mostly use your Fire Stick for official streaming or Sideloaded apps? Drop a comment, I'd love to know what you're using it for. Now, one quick tip, if you're browsing the web or using third-party apps with your new mouse, you should also protect your data. Your internet provider and other companies can see what you're doing. That's why a VPN is a must-have for me. I personally use NordVPN. It hides your IP address, encrypts your connection, and lets you unlock geo-restricted content from around the world. You can install it straight from the Amazon App Store and it runs smoothly on the Fire Stick. I've got a special deal for my viewers. Just click the link in the description for a discount. Now, a few important points to remember. Not all apps fully support mouse functionality and the Fire TV home screen does not support it at all. However, most apps and browsers work well with a mouse. It's also worth noting that the scroll wheel is not supported, which means you can't use it to scroll through menus or lists. What the mouse is particularly useful for is clicking on and selecting areas of the screen that may be difficult to access in certain apps. If you ever want to unpair the mouse, it's simple. Go back to other Bluetooth devices Highlight your mouse, press the menu button on your remote and choose Unpair. Then press the Select button to confirm the unpairing. With that little mouse, you just turned your Fire Stick into a powerhouse with smoother browsing, easier navigation and full control over those tricky side-loaded apps. If this video helped you out, tap that thumbs up. It tells YouTube this is worth sharing with more Fire Stick users.
And if you want more tips like this without spending a dime, hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss the next one. I also read every comment, so let me know what you think or drop your questions below. I'll do my best to help out. And for those of you who want direct support and to be part of a private community, check out the channel membership by clicking join below. You'll get access to a chat group where I answer questions personally and share extra tips I don't post publicly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.